Good morning guys, welcome back to Krakow. We've got something really exciting planned for later, but it doesn't open until three o'clock, so we're just making some breakfast now. It's about like half live on. We've just been chilling out this morning and then we are gonna do something fun. We are almost on a thousand subscribers, so make sure you hit subscribe and help us get there. So yeah, we're gonna quickly have breakfast and then we are gonna head to our first stop of the day. <laughs> Okay, slight change of plans. We've got two exciting things planned for today. Uh, we've got a stop that we're gonna do now, then we're gonna get some lunch, and then we are gonna head to the main thing for today, uh, which will be around three, four-ish. So we're gonna get ready now, we're gonna head out. There you go. Get a lot. It is snowing ever so slightly here today in Krakow. Um, and we're just headed towards the old town. We've got we've got a little bit of an exciting stop that we haven't been to yet that we want to check out. Um, and there's a lot of history behind this, so we'll pick up the camera when we get there. Can you see it? A snowflake just landed on me and it's like a perfect snowflake. It's good, it's melted now. I'm gonna catch one. <laughs> oh, look <in> at my mouth. <laughs> oh wow! That one's not as cool. Uh, it's not as uh It's mad that snowflakes fall perfect. from the sky. As like snowflakes. in the shape of a snowflake. Like a, <laughs> that sounds so dumb. <laughs> no, but like as in one, draw... yeah, a pictured one or like the emoji. Yeah, like that's genuinely what a, a lot snowflake of them don't. Like. A lot of them don't though. No, but some of them do. Which but is really some cool. of them. You go have a good one, like I just had. I walked this and maybe they landed on my foot. There's another one. Off, like, and anyway, oh, <laughs> anyway, we're uh, we're almost there. Yeah, we're not far from our first stop now, so we can pick it up when we get there. Castle. Yeah, so we were we've passed it a couple of times, but we were waiting to come and check it out another time, really, when we so, yeah, so we we're uh, heading up to it now. We're going to check out the courtyard. We're going to try and find out some more information about it, and just see if there's anything cool to learn, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so we're up in the courtyard now. It's absolutely massive up here, isn't it? It is. Um, it's a little bit busy. There is quite a lot of like tour guides, like tour groups going around and stuff. But um, it's I... such a big space that you died of your cramped at all. Okay, so the Vavil Castle is built on top of the Vavil Hill, and it overlooks the Vitula River. Uh, which is just here. 
Um, I don't know if we, I don't know if there's a view of the old town if you go further that way. So we're just going to take a walk around, is it? Yeah. Um, I think that goes down the hill, so we'll have to go back up that way. Yeah, we'll go through we'll go again. Up. Yeah. Okay, so there's actually a restaurant up here as well. The pizzeria. Thoughts on the castle? It's beautiful. It's nice you can go into the courtyard for free as well. Okay, this place is quite fancy, isn't it? Yeah. So you can actually pay to go inside of the castle, but just to walk on the courtyard in this part here is all for free. Yeah. But it's really big in like this section we've just walked into is like a big another like courtyard sort of bit. Yeah. And like the white floor just makes it, doesn't it? Should we, should we Google some facts? Spit some facts up. So the Valvoid Castle is actually the first UNESCO World Heritage Site in the whole entire world. Okay, so it's one of the largest castles in Poland and it represents all European architectural styles. We've got the Renaissance, Baroque, Medieval periods. And the Valvoid Castle and the Valvoid Hill constitute one of the most historically significant sites in the country. Some facts on Survival Castle for you. Fun facts of the day. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's pretty cool though. If you if you come to Krakow, definitely come up and just have a wander around. Even if you don't go into the castle itself, just have a wander on the courtyard and just get some pretty sick views. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. That's it for our tour of the Vavel Castle. So we've got one more exciting stop planned later on today. Yeah, really excited for that one. But I think we're going to get some lunch first. We've come to Bar Grodzki for some lunch. <laughs> we've come to Bar Grodzki for some lunch. So we've all had a couple of different things. I went for the potato cutlet. Ashley and my mum went for potato pancakes and goulash and my dad went for potato pancakes and hunter's delight. Okay, so we've come to uh, the Arcade Museum. It's just outside of the uh, old town. It's about a 15 yeah. minute drive. Um, and you basically pay to come in and then you can play any arcade machine that you want to play. So you can get an hour ticket for 40. Or you can get like a all day, or until it's closed, for 60. So it was 22 pounds for two of us. Which is really good, because you, you get to play all the games as many times as you want for free, until yeah. it closes. Uh, and there's also a bar just up where you pay, so we're gonna start playing some games, eh? Yeah.
Okay, I found a Simpsons game. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, I just saw the high score in this game. Yes. Yes, smashed it. It almost doubled the high score. What is it? You have to stomp on them to stand here. Is it one player? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you could do two more. It is going to be one. When they like up, you have to stamp on them. Okay, I'm going to go back and get the ball and the ball. Let's see what he does. Above some of them, you've got like a little bit about them, and it says like what you've like, made stuff. Yeah. So playing two Mario Brothers, and it's made in 1983. Did you play it? Yeah. Beat my high score of 8,870. Okay, uh, I almost beat the high score, but oh. that's going again. I think we're going to be playing this until one of us is 10,000. Claim the high score. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my face. I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right And make up for what I've lost I was down but things are looking up I wanna get high surprised by you want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should I want to get high on you caught by surprise by you want you to make my heart feel as much as I know
just on the way back to the apartment now. We really, really enjoyed the arcade museum. It was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, we were debating whether or not to just have like one hour there or pay for the like as like like as long as you want there. Um, and we ended up spending. We ended up spending about three and a half hours there. <laughs> yeah. I think it was about seven when we left. I think it's about half past now. But time went so, so time goes so quick when you're in there. Yeah, you're just playing these games, and like there's so many of them to choose from. They literally had everything from like uh, like Super Mario, Donkey Kong, stuff like that, Galactico, pinball, like what, 15 pinball machines. Yeah, Pac-Man. They had Tetris. Loads and loads and loads there was. And Kelsey thoroughly enjoyed on the dance dance machine dance. It's not dance machine. It's, uh, yeah, the dance, the dance mat machine. Dance mat, that's all. Right. I used to have them when I was younger, so that definitely shut me back. Yeah, so we were there a good like three hours, three and a half hours, and yeah. there was a bar there as well, so we had a couple of drinks. Um, definitely recommend going though, if you've got a good few days here. Yeah, 100%. If you're here for like a week or so, just spend like one afternoon in there, it opens at about... Three, I think. It says three on Google, but on the website it says 11. So I'm not really sure. And it's open until about eight on weekdays and nine on the weekend, I think. Maybe a bit later. But um, yeah, I highly recommend that. Yeah. We're back at the apartment now, so we're gonna get this edited, make some food as well. Yeah. So we're gonna end it here. Um, We've got something that a lot of you have recommended for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We're really looking forward to it. Yeah, we're headed to the salt mine, so you've got to check check that video out. It should yeah. be good. Yeah. Really looking forward to it. So we're going to end it here, and we'll pick it up in the morning. <laughs>